there's a bus full of strangers, and I didn't know who anyone was. And I was texting my mom. I was like, Mom, come get me. I can't do this. And she, she was like, you, you've been gone for like an hour. And I was like, I, I can't do it. But we got there. And then, you know, the first day sucked because I, I wanted to go home so bad. And then we didn't really talk to anyone. And, you know, the next day, it, was, it got a lot better because, you know, Jason and I started interacting with a lot of the kids from different schools. There's kids from Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, where, wherever, really. And, you know, we had to work out three times a day, which wasn't that fun. And Jace won some push-up competition because he had the biggest muscles there. <laughs> and then we just, uh, you know, we worked out three times a day. Then we read in our Bibles, and we got together in our huddle groups. And, you know, we just talked about our struggles and tried to resolve those problems. And, you know, then we had a um, passage every night. There's a pastor that gave us a passage every night. And then, you know, the third day, we had uh, our final dinner. And then we left, and me and Jace almost cried because we didn't. Our huddle leader, he's a cool guy. He plays football for Northwestern, and we didn't want to leave him. Jace cried. He did. Seriously. <laughs> don't give him crap. I don't care. He cried. <laughs> And then, you know, so we left, and then, you know, on the bus ride to Chicago, it was dead silent. No one talked at all. And then, you know, on the way back, we were all, it was loud as heck. And we were all, I don't know, having fun, telling jokes. Me and Jace met this one girl who knew Dayton, so that was cool. And then, you know, we got home, and then we had to go to Notre Dame the next day, but that's not part of the story. So I guess the moral of the story is, you know, if... If God's telling you to do something in your heart and you feel like he's pushing you to do something, you got to do it. Because when Carl first asked me to do this, I was pretty skeptical. I didn't want to do it at all. And then, you know, I felt like God was telling me in my heart to do this, and I ended up doing it. And, you know, it made me the man I am today, and I'm sure Jace would say the same thing. So that's all I got. I'm pretty sure Carl is coming up here right now. Troy? Oh, wait. I'm going to take a selfie quick. <laughs>